I'm Jessica and welcome to our new series by design. Did you know that God is the greatest designer? He created the most beautiful landscapes you see, the mountains, the sea, the skies, everything in it. And I love to admire his creation, but for him, that's not the most beautiful thing he made. His masterpiece is you and me. Yes, you are God's masterpiece created in his image. God made each one of us uniquely different, and when he designed us, he built something into each of us, the ability to love. We're all good at different things, and it's true that we were all designed differently, but this week, to begin our discovery of how we were all created, we're going to start with a simple truth that Jesus taught us. You're probably really familiar with it. It's called the Golden Rule. It tells us to treat others the way that we want to be treated. We learn that from a young age because being kind to others is something that we're all expected to do. Kindness is such a simple thing that can make all the difference and it stems from our love for others. When we love others, we want what's best for them. We wanna show them the love of God and how we as his followers radiate that love to all around us. And that's why today I want you to remember this one thing, God designed me to love others. Our Bible story this week tells us what Jesus said about this and we can find it in Luke 6 verses 27 through 36. But to you who are willing to listen, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who hurt you. If someone slaps you on one cheek, offer the other cheek also. If someone demands your coat, offer your shirt also. Give to anyone who asks, and when things are taken away from you, don't try to get them back. Do to others as you would like them to do to you. If you only love those who love you, why should you get credit for that? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good only to those who do good to you, why should you get credit? Even sinners do that much. And if you lend money only to those who can repay you, why should you get credit? Even sinners will lend to other sinners for a full return. Love your enemies, do good to them. Lend to them without expecting to be repaid. Then your reward from heaven will be very great and you will be truly acting as children of the Most High, for he is kind to those who are unthankful and wicked. You must be compassionate just as your father is compassionate. I want to say this is one of the hardest things that Jesus asked us to do. I know that our nature's immediate response is to fight back when someone hurts you. I know it because I deal with that too. If it's so hard, then why is Jesus asking us to do it? Well, because he's our creator and he knows that we can do it with him. Remember that we were created in his image and he created us to love everyone. And trust me, Jesus practiced that well. Jesus was praying for the father to forgive the soldiers that were crucifying him because they didn't know what they were doing. He loved them too. Yes, that was a major example of his love. When Jesus let them take away his life, he was loving you and me, the soldiers, and all the crowd that wanted to crucify him because he loves everyone. That's why our application point number one is love your enemies. This is something that we hear a lot, but often have a hard time putting into action. That's because no one wants to show kindness to someone who's only ever shown them hatred. But living our lives as followers of Jesus isn't always easy, and even showing love to others has its challenges. It is so easy to love people in your life who are always kind to you, but loving your enemies is a really difficult thing. You can love them by understanding that sometimes they don't mean what they do to you. Maybe you've heard that hurt people hurt people, and that is so true. When someone is unkind to you, uh, it just means that maybe they're hurting and most likely reflecting what's inside of them. Maybe they're having a bad day. They might not have the best home life or best example of how to be kind. So ask Jesus to help you be kind and to not take it personal. Love them, pray for them, because that person needs Jesus just as much as you do. Number two, do good to them. Have you ever heard the phrase, kill them with kindness? At your age, I can guarantee that a big reason some kids at your school like to pick fights is for the reaction that they get. They want you to fight back. They want a reason to justify themselves why it's okay that they're treating you poorly. Now let's say someone is treating you unkindly at school. You don't know what's happening in their personal lives to make them behave this way. 
the way that they're treating you is not acceptable either way, but maybe showing them a bit of kindness will help them realize that they can be much better than that. God designed everyone to love. Sometimes people go a long time without discovering the path that God has for them. And this is something that we learn from a young age that everyone is capable of. So we start with the golden rule. Do you remember what it says? Treat others the way that you want to be treated. This is our memory verse for the series. I bet that you already have the majority of it down, but I want you to put it to memory. I want you to practice this. So let's read it together. Do to others as you would like them to do to you. Luke 6, 31. Showing God's love is something that we can do every day, and that's why it's what we learn from such a young age. Another reason is that we can show love to others in all situations. When you show kindness to a stranger who is having a hard time, you might just be the one that helps lead them to God. We also start with kindness because it applies to everyone. No matter what language you speak, what country you live in, what you look like, or what clothes you wear, everyone knows what love is and everyone appreciates it. A smile and a compliment can go a really long way. So how can you show love to others this week? Well, while love is something that we can all do for God, we are each presented with different opportunities to show it. Maybe someone who always shows hostility at school just needs some kindness shown to them. Or maybe the next time you and your younger siblings argue, you can be the bigger person and apologize first or try to make it right. Be conscious of your actions and how you're treating others. And remember, God designed me to love others.